Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is Yuletide, and we are ringing in the final days of 2020. And I thought, well, what better way to welcome 2021 than with a return to quite possibly one of the sweetest and uh, most enjoyable games that I have played on the channel, Stardew Valley. I noticed a lot of you were very excited and uh, very well done at uh, guessing what uh, the alluded to surprise might be in my recent community post on the YouTube channel. And uh, yes, well, welcome back, everyone. I hope you're as excited for this as I am. Now, how long we're going to be coming back to Stardew Valley for? It may, may be for much longer than Yuletide, and it may be just for a short visit. We'll have to see how people, uh, what people think in the comments down below. But first and foremost, please allow me to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. And if not, well, I just hope you're having a wonderful end to the year. As wonderful as it could be anyway. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump in to a new game. Now, there are a lot of updates have passed since the last time I played. We are now on version 1.5. And with 1.5, there has been not only a new farm, but also a lot of new options that are going to affect the game all throughout. Now, this is just a taster of some of them, but one of the things that I think makes uh, the version 1.5 update stand out from the others is it adds so much to the beginning of the game, whereas many of the other updates added a lot of sort of mid to end game content, but didn't really much change the way that you were going to progress through the game to start with. But one of the ones that I'm, I'm you know, unreasonably happy about is the idea of the community center bundles being remixed. We can just say, yeah, randomize it all. Have a fresh game, have a fresh, you know, throw out the old meta and just, you know, play the game for the first time, for the second or third time, you know, so on and so forth. We are going to guarantee that it is going to be one year completable, but I'm not going to go out of my way to complete it in the first year. We'll see how that goes, though. But uh, next up, we want mine rewards remixed as well. We'll see what we get and when we get them. Uh, that may actually come a cropper because we might not end up with uh, armor or weapons for the, the, the later levels if all of the stuff that you kind of need to make progress in the mine ends up right at the end of it, but uh, it'll, it'll make it more fun. Uh, I'm not going to have monsters spawning on the farm. Profit margin, you can change a lot of things and there's obviously some multiplayer options as well. Now there is a new farm, the beach farm, good foraging and fishing and tons of open space. Sometimes supply crates wash up on the shore. However, sprinklers don't work in the sandy soil and that is precisely why we're not going to be going with the beach farm. Though uh, I have uh, seen little bits here and there of the beach farm and it actually does look quite fun but I think I would, uh, you know what, we're going to go with the forest farm this time. We've tried, we've tried the monster farm, or rather the wilderness farm. Uh, we've tried the standard farm, obviously, but we're this time gonna go with the forest farm. The woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Just for a, just for a bit of uh, something new. Now, let's make our character. And there we go. It is fantastically hard for me to to ever find something that closely resembles my hair in in any game. It, I got a combination of a frankly vampiric widow's peak and long hair that just naturally flows into curls. And trying to find that in any game is is they just don't make games for me, I guess. But uh, here we go. Our name is of course Avak. Our farm name is going to be the Dapper Glen. And our favorite thing, instead of just tea this time, it's going to be Lapsang Sushong. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't fit, so you're just going to have to accept Lapsang. Simply because it's such a woody flavored uh, flavored tea. It's, it's actually smoked. It's smoked with uh, pine. So it, it, it I don't know, it, it conjures up the feeling of being in a forest whenever I drink it. So I think for a forest farm, that's the perfect tea for us. And this time, we're going to have a slightly different dog. There's lots of different options here now. We're going to be going with, with uh, this pupper. Uh, looks, at, well, it's not quite spaniel-like, but it's close enough. And that was that was my, my first dog growing up. That, that was my dog. That was my, my puppy, Lady. She was beautiful. Okay, it is time for us after a long, long time away to return. Oh, I've got goosebumps over this. And for my very special grandson. Oh, this music. Wow. 
I want you to have this sealed envelope. I think I had this exact same response the second time I played through it. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I'm doing them well. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will b fade before the growing emptiness. That's not a hidden reference to 2020, I don't know what is. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. XX years later, once again! Hmm. Ah, uh, my lord. Oh, I, I actually forgot. <laughs> forgot. <laughs> oh, that is so bad. <laughs> the whole licking of the lips and... Uh, wow. Just wow. I can't tell if I need, need a drink or if I need to go to the toilet, but either way... Dear Avak, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Dapper Glen Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Mm, that Lewis. Such a nice fellow. But, hmm. Just wish he was nicer to Martin, honestly. Well, this is a nice, nice drive. I, oh, okay. It's no longer a nice drive. It was a nice drive for a little while. It sounded like it had an electric engine that just, that just gentle hum rather than the, the rumbly. Well, that wasn't a purr. That was more of a cough, really, from that engine. But either way. Hello. You must be Avak. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you. To the, uh, the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I would be more than glad to, Robin. Okay, it really is a forest farm, isn't it, my lord? This is Dapper Glen Farm. To be fair, that is, that is an appropriate reaction, actually. What's the matter? To show it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that. I mean, not much by the looks of it. <laughs> maybe I made a mistake. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I wonder if I can build, like, farm buildings around this. Uh, like, coops and such. Because that would be a strong redeeming feature. I wonder if just regular grass will grow. Th Ooh, that's a good question. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Harsh. Rude! Almost, his hat almost flew off. That was so rude. Don't listen to her, Avak. 
She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. That was, that was also kind of rude. My lord. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. No goodbye from Robin. <laughs> she was, must really be sulking after after what Mia Lewis said, actually. Wow. Ah, wow. It's been so long and the game's like, do I even know you? Do you even know how to play anymore? This is a lovely little one, though. Uh, let's have a quick look. Um, okay, yeah, we start with nothing. All, <clears throat> all of the uh, hearts at zero. Anything changed at all? I don't think anything has with the layout of the towns, as far as I'm aware. Uh, oops, there we are. Maybe I have forgotten how to play. Parsnip seeds. New journal entry. You've received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis said in his voice, no less. All right, let's have a quick look. Am I going to pick this up? I am going to pick it up. Ah, I haven't forgotten how to play the game after all. I remember all the important bits like picking up the TV instead of turning it on. Uh, I even just used right click to access that thing. It, it, I, I swear, it's muscle memory to pick up the TV at this point. It isn't that I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm doing exactly what my brain wants to do. It's just, it's in disagreement with, with everything else. Uh, and now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Marvelous. Welcome to Welwick's Oracle, the only show where you... Uh, the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, that's not very good. Man, I won't just arrive. <laughs> the spirits are already annoyed with me. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Okay, well, I'll do just that most likely. <laughs> oh, my lord. Look at this farm, though. Is this all the room that I have to grow in? That's going to be a challenge and a half. Am I up to the challenge? I just don't know, but uh, maybe. Well, we don't have a puppy yet to enjoy this, but you know what? Sure. I'll put a little bit of water in there. The birds can have it. Okay, well, thankfully, sorry, frog, uh, this side is fantastically good at clearing all of the grass. Let's just get through here. We're going to need to get all of this out of the way. Oh, my Lord. And then later, we're going to go and say hello to uh, a bunch of the villagers as well. Let's grab you. There we go. First, we'll get rid of the grass. We are going to need to get uh, a chest up and running really quickly, I would say. We want to get to the point where we've got uh, some storage space. Now, one of the big things about having the forest farm, if I recall, is going to be that we're going to have access to hardwood very early on, which means an upgraded axe is going to be a particularly worthwhile investment. Perhaps even before an upgraded pick, even. Uh, it does depend a little bit on that one, but we'll we'll see how that goes. There we go. We do not have much in the way of uh, farming ground, so we're probably going to want to maximize what we get out of the farming ground, frankly. And I know, I know, we're not getting anything back from that in terms of... Uh, um, uh, in regards to uh, hay. Right now, we don't have a silo, so scything grass does nothing for us. Uh, let's see what's around then. Womp. There we go. Well, probably doing a fair bit of work on the farm today. We've got so much we need to get done. We'll just clear away up there. How many seeds have we got? Already up to uh, 66. Um, 66. Uh, well, it's a forage. Not fiber. There we go. Uh, right. Now comes the time for chopping down trees. Now, firstly, I don't remember the the energy economy of chopping trees versus just collecting wood. Um, but I'm going to say that it's probably somewhat similar. 
Uh, and if you wonder what I mean by energy economy, for example, if it takes 10 swings of a pickaxe to break a stone and you get 10 stones back, then the energy economy is however much energy it requires per swing per stone. But if it takes um, two swings of a pickaxe to crack a small stone and you get one stone back, well, that, that's now half as good in terms of the energy economy. Um, it's why when you go down the mines early on, you want to just try and cut a path through the uh, through the basic rocks rather than the more um, the more uh, kind of pale looking rocks because those are twice as as tough to break. So you need twice as many many pickaxe swings uh, and just little things like that. I don't remember if it's better for me to chop down a whole tree versus just collecting the uh, the logs that happen to be here and there. Now, we're going to need to pop a good amount of this into getting a basic chest. Now, early on, the chest is not going to be anything particularly fancy, I'm afraid. Uh, we just want a basic chest. There we go. Somewhere where I can drop things off because we have got way too much stuff right now and we need somewhere to put it. Uh, but eventually, we're probably going to make this into a bit more of a uh, nature chest. So we'll we'll drop all of the things that we just kind of gathered there from uh, from uh, just the forage, uh, anything we cut down like wood, sap, that sort of stuff. We'll probably have a separate chest for minerals, even though technically quite natural. We're and we're gathering them in you know very natural way, uh, you know with a with a hulking great pickaxe because it's completely normal for for humans to use tools. You see, so nature. If you think like that, then everything we do is, is natural, really. When you, when you consider it, it's like, well, we came from nature, therefore everything that we do is natural, by definition. Uh, but no. Right, now that's going to be a problem. We're not going to be able to shift you until much later. We're going to need uh, a copper axe, which means we're going to have to go down a decent way in the mine before we can even come close to gathering that. Ugh. There was a part of me that was distracted by the possibility that uh, <laughs> that the uh, the the bounty of that uh, chopped tree was about to fall into the into the water and be lost forever, or at least until we fish there and eventually pick up some uh, some driftwood. Now we're hungry. That is indeed a problem. However, early on there should be a fairly easy save for us, and we don't have fishing. Fishing is an incredibly good way for us to manage our energy reserves, but, oh lord, that is a lot of, lot of mess there that's going to take us some time to get uh, sorted. But we can, um, oh, hello, 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 I want to say hello, hello, ah, ah, May and Lewis told me you just arrived, I'm Arnie, I know, and you're wonderful, I sell livestock and animals, care products at my ranch, you should swing by sometime, I will do just that, I have a feeling we're going to be firm friends, oh, hello, wasn't expecting to see you on today, Haley. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Uh, evidently. Haley's too involved with a camera to notice you. Well, you just keep up with your hobbies. Again, I will say that uh, Haley had one of one of uh, the sweetest uh, ca kind of character arcs out of all of the the peeps that uh, we we have seen in Stardew Valley in previous scenes. There we go. Right. Now, got a little bit of stuff to gobble. Let's eat some spring onions. Chomp. Uh, not a huge amount of energy, of course, but it's enough. Chomp. Now, we're going to be eating these most of the way back because we've got to get a lot of work done. Now, sadly, we're running a little bit low on time. I'm not really sure when... Uh, Pierre's closes, for example, so we're probably going to make a round straight into the town. Just to ensure that I don't... Oh, actually. I was going to say, just to make sure that I don't uh, run out of, of time to pick stuff up. I've got enough room to pick up one thing, at least. Um, we want to grab some early seeds. Chomp, let's grab those down. There we go. Ah, all the onions. Not. Oh, that is not the way out. That is, in fact, a dead end of hedges. I've never noticed a little windmill uh, next to Leah's house before. Going, going. Well, I was going to say solar powered. No, going renewable. The wind is not solar powered. I well, 
in a long roundabout way, in the kind of the same way as like, ah, anything humans do is technically natural. Yes, the wind is solar powered, but. Why, hello and welcome to our little community theater. You can call me Granny if you like. Oh, that's very sweet. Can I say anything more? No, I can't. Hello, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. How did you know my name? Well, long story. Oh, uh, uh, what, uh, what? <gasps> Have you always been it? Oh, no, I think I read that you can actually now sit down. <laughs> it's taken this many versions to be able to sit down and just hang out with people. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community's dynamic. It's exciting. I know, right? Ah, hello, Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I will do just that, more than likely. Hello, you must be Avak, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. What, what a way to describe your daughter. I mean, it, technically. You're not wrong, but... Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I, I'm trying to... Wow, that, that opening, though, Jody. I mean, your honesty, 10 out of 10. Your tact, uh, a bit lower. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Well, I hope you're still feeling that way in a few days. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Vincent, that is adorably, ad adorably innocent, but also worried. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Uh, thank you, Vincent. Your vote of confidence is heartwarming, but I am concerned. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I'm sure it is. I am sure it is. Right. Uh, introductions. I've met 11 out of 28 people. Uh, cultivate and harvest the past. Well, I will be getting to that. It will be happening. Oh, sorry, Karen. Okay, we've got many days before the first birthday. We should be fine. Oh. Well, well, well. Now this is interesting. That's new. Hello. It's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Thank you very much, Lee. Right then. Hello, Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Avak, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from uh, uh, from you for a good price. How good is a good price, though? Really? Little, little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm glad, but at the same time. Uh, right, okay. Well, we've got enough money to buy a decent chunk of potato seeds. Um, and that may well be something that we go for. In the catalog. Still, I, I still didn't get that in the in the uh, second second playthrough. Um, we could go for parsnip seeds. Take four days to mature. But the potatoes will offer us a lot more money. So let's grab them. They're not that much more. Uh, in terms of time. Well, they're, they're half the, uh, 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 as uh, long again, but I think it's fine. This will allow us to uh, have a decent amount of uh, of watering to do. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Uh, Abigail. Why? We've just met. You need to shut me down so hard. My lord. Don't mind me just wandering into your home. Um, oh, it's, we're not going to see anyone at the shri shrine uh, yet. It's going to be quite some time. Okay. Well, I think we just about got here in time. We very almost didn't uh, make it to buy a seat. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'm glad you think so. I'll see you around. Uh, yes, you probably will. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Uh, well, I mean, that's true right now, but we'll become friends one day. I promise you. Hello. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Hmm. 
George, we will become friends as well. Eventually. It'll take a while. Actually, it might not take a while with you. Because you have to like uh, a particular dish that I will probably have in crazy abundance at some point. You may even become one of my first friends. <laughs> Who knows? It all depends. Right. Now, I do... No, 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 no. Gotta run. Run, 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 run. Oh, <laughs> marvelous. <sighs> ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. It is a pleasure to meet you too, Elliot. Uh, we almost didn't get to meet you today. Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Now, it's a bit of an interesting one, that. It is a bit of an interesting one to uh, to upgrade that bridge as soon as you can, because it's such a tempting, it's a tantalizing option. It really is. But does it pay itself back enough in the early game? Because 300 wood is a lot of wood. It, it, and In this game, the energy economy can be used to, to quantify the value of pretty much everything. Um, and by that, I mean the energy required to get a thing. So wood has a quantifiable value value in the energy required to get in 300 pieces of wood so on and so forth will i get as much back from from having that open early on i don't know because i think that 300 wood would probably be more useful in a bunch of other things that we could do early oh hello i'm penny hello penny don't mind me i'm just rambling i do that a lot uh hopefully you'll find it endearing and not incredibly annoying but uh well, you know <laughs> i guess i'll just have to accept it if you do Hopefully, though. Hopefully not. Okay. Now. Who was the first... Oh, I'm not even going to start that conversation. Whilst I'm curious... <laughs> uh, I'm not ready for the train to start coming. I'm totally going to eat this dandelion because we need to do a lot of work. So much work. All right, let's start out about here. Oh, so good to be able to just point at stuff. Oh, so, so good. There we go. We'll get the 15 parsnips. And we want 10 potatoes. We are going to want more than 10 potatoes eventually. But for now, we don't have much option. All right, let's pop down the potato seeds. But if you're wondering what I was, what I was wondering, I was wondering who the first marriageable char character was that I talked to. And just just f for curiosity's sake. I'm not, not saying that's, that's, that's defining something that is all preordained or anything like that. The train hasn't even pulled into the station. It can't leave the station yet, okay? My lord. I was just curious. Right, let's have a look at what we grab. I believe it was Maru, though. Now, I'm going to leave those trees where they are because I can't really do much with them. But one thing I did notice is how incredibly, incredibly densely packed this path was down here. I think we probably want to get this area cleared out a little bit. Uh, and by a little bit, I mean an awful lot. Let's go ahead and get all of this cleared away, shall we? I think so, yes. Yeah. We'll use up the remainder of my energy. And then we will have a nice, a nice nap. Now, I'm not sure how long these these episodes are going to be. I recall that it used to be... Ooh, have I got enough energy? I'm getting really tired. Oh, I'm not going to be able to grab that stuff. But oh, <laughs> we were pushing our luck, luck there. I seem to recall that a day was about 20 minutes, or used to be. Oh, I didn't have enough energy to finish the watering. I should have done that. Well, that's one thing that we've done. Uh, it was a bit of a silly. Mm. Is there any forage anywhere I could go and grab? We, we're at 10 p.m. We might find a bit of forage out and about. We may be that lucky. Let's go and see if we can't grab a couple of things. But, uh, yes, I was going to say that uh, I was wondering how long these episodes were going to be. Uh, I do seem to recall that they were about 20 minutes long per day. Obviously, in uh, today, it's been a little bit longer, uh, but that's fine. Uh, simply because we've got so many people to talk to, and, and time doesn't progress whilst you're 
whilst you're chatting with people, which is both a good and a bad thing. Uh, we need we need one or two more bits of forage, frankly. No, that's not a bit of forage. Come on, there's got to be something around here. I need one more something, one more anything. I need to water my plants because I was a derp. Good old reliable havoc, I guess. But at the same time, no. Uh, let's see, I, I don't want to start things off by not being able to take care of my plants. That's an awful beginning. Uh, I'm getting tired now as well. Well, we're just going to have to see how much and um, how far this gets me. I guess as long as I can water the potatoes, we should be okay. But we are going to be pulling an all-nighter. <laughs> Ugh. My goodness. Um, got anything up there? No. All right. Well, we'll do our best and see how we can go. We might be we might be going all the way up to uh, 150 with this one before we get into bed. We'll see. We may actually have enough, though, to get it all done. And I will give it my damnedest if I'm able to. We might just... Oh, this, this energy bar, it's, it's giving me hope. It's giving me hope, everyone. We might be able to push it. Come on. Oh, no. I need a little bit more water. I'm somewhat concerned that we're not going to be able to. And it's worse than in that we're not going to... Do I risk it for a biscuit? I I feel sluggish from overexertion. Damn it. Most vexing. Oh, well. Too late. Come on. Let's get to bed. Oh, so tired. So tired, so sluggish. It's fine, though. Just need to fall into bed. Bed was, thankfully, very, very close. Go to sleep. We're going to have half an energy bar as a result of that. But on the plus side, we've got some a decent amount of uh, of uh, foraging EXP. Plus one, two axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds. And new crafting recipe, a field snack. If only I already had that. Much sadness. Much sadness. Oh! Oh, ho. were we gifted the rare and bountiful gift of no energy malice after being exhausted? I can only assume that was a mistake on the game's part, but I'm going to run with it. Ha! Take that, game. Weather report. Uh, welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. I'm fairly certain it always rains on the third day. Uh, fortune teller. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very happy today, and they will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. That is amazing news indeed. Ooh, we've also got... Uh, hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. Thank you very much, Willie. That is a delightful offer. Uh, you know what? I should probably... I should really actually probably plant these as well. I should have thought of that. Not that I really could have done much yesterday, but you know, uh, we'll, we'll make good on it today. Uh, let's start a little area over here. Pop, oh, plant these down. I will see about picking up some more items. I really should have sold all of the fiber though. I'm not gonna have any use for that for a while. Uh, so, Getting a little bit of cash out of that would have been very nice. It would have allowed me to buy more potatoes, if nothing else. Oh, well. Right. But I'm going to make use of all of this energy to its fullest today. Uh, we've already grabbed the spring onions, sadly, so uh, that's not going to be a go for us for a little while. To the beach. I will definitely head down there. Ah, oh, this music, though, so soothing. It is... I don't know how much of it is is kind of nostalgia, but Stardew Valley music just makes me happy. There we go, grab all this, get a little bit more uh, fiber that I'll be able to sell, and continue hunting. We may even get some more wild seeds. There we go. Just as we speak about it. Perfect. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit more cleanup, I think. And then we're going to drop off our tools, because we're not going to be needing our watering can very soon. And we will head into town and hopefully pick up a couple more odds and sods. I'm not sure if, if Pierre will buy 
the uh, fiber from me or not. That may be something I need to drop into the uh, into the shipping bin. If so, oh well, we're just not going to be planting anything other than wild seeds today. But if we can, then we may be able to uh, purchase some more. Okay, that was actually blocked. Uh, purchase some more seeds as well, which would be quite nice. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get a decent amount of fishing done as well. So I don't want to use up all of my energy right now. That would be very, very silly of me. He says he knows that he's going to continue hunting around to uh, gather more bits and bobs while he can. Some more seeds. Maybe half a bar. Because the nice thing about fishing is basically you can keep refueling yourself by eating the fish. Um... I, I think we're probably going to go and check in on that uh, fishing rod in just a moment. We'll also grab a few odds and sods from the beach as well, which would be quite nice. Thank you. And let's just try and get through here. Uh, just clean up a little bit here and there. As long as we do a bit of work every day, then the farm will very quickly start, uh, start coming together. Not that this side is going to be used much for farming, I suspect. Not, not until much later. At the very least. Right, we've got eight more seeds. That's actually pretty amazing. There you go. And we'll take these across here. I will try to keep uh, everything kind of planted uh, in their own individual areas. Obviously, with the uh, wild seeds, we don't know what they are. So I'll just have all wild seeds in an area and I'll just have to accept that they're going to be. Uh, they're going to be. Uh, Growing at very different rates. That's just the way that that's going to be. We do have enough wood now to make two other chests, which is actually pretty good. Uh, we'll keep the... Hmm, you know what? The hole should always really be with us. The axe, I'm going to leave behind, though. I know, it's a bit of a risky one, that. Especially if I end up going south. And, and I probably will. But I should be able to get everywhere I need to without having to chop anything up. We're just immediately going to go ahead and eat that leek. Chomp. Got to keep the NG up. Once again, fishing should help us out with that in a big, big way. But uh, for now, it's fine. Right, let's see what we've got over here. What are you? Oh, a lost book. Nice. That's double nice because, A, the library's collection is expanded, but also my very, very limited inventory hasn't been uh, been diminished by carrying it around. Well, Haley, my shoes. Are those made out of plastic? Uh, uh hmm. I'm bored. Good talk, Haley. Good talk. Right. Anything else up here that I can grab? I mean, daffodil, such a beautiful gift. Right, let's go and have a look around. Hello, Pierre. Hello, me and Lewis. Hello, everyone. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? It was quite nice, thank you. I do all my grocery shopping here. I'm glad to hear it. <sighs> I'm not in a good mood right now. Okay. Fair enough, everyone can have a bad day. Right, let's go and have a quick chat with everyone. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. He helps out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. My husband, Kent, is a soldier working overseas. That's why he's not here right now. I know he'll come back safe once his tour is over. Need something? Uh, no, actually. Just just having a bit of a chat. I've seen wild horse radishes in the forest. Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash, or you can use what you find as gifts or food. Have you met everyone in the town yet? That sounds exciting. I haven't yet. I haven't met your son or your husband. We work part-time at Gessa Saloon. It pays the bills. I mean, that, that's, that's a surprisingly pessimistic way for uh, Emily to talk about it. Hey, up here. Sometimes I get new I items of stock, so make sure you stop by every so often. Now, will you... Oh, you won't buy it. That would have been amazing, but okay. Cauliflower, so... All right, well, now I know. Now I know. Should have dropped them off in the shipping crate. My bad. I am going to walk back to take care of that right now, actually. Let's head on back. Drop this off, because there's no point in me carrying it with me now. 
Uh, it is a shame, but oh well. That would have been... I think you can get like one gold for each fiber. So, I mean, it, it would have been two extra potatoes. You know, and, and, you know, two extra potatoes is two extra potatoes. Especially for tomorrow, where it's going to be raining. So I don't need to worry about watering things. Mm, that would have been actually quite nice. Oh, wow. All right, let's head on down to the beach. Oh, hello. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hello, Sam. And that's our lot for now. Don't worry, Sam. We'll be on good terms soon enough. And then you'll be all sorts of chatty. Ah. <sighs> Sound of the waves. Smell of pipe smoke. Smell of sea salt. Good, good times. Oi there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah. I'm still trying to unwind after a month out at... On the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I'm sure I will, especially when I've got a fishing rod that uses bait. Because, yeah, having to hunt down bugs for bait, no. Oh, tea. Uh, you received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh, yeah. My shop's back open now. So come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old poppy... Uh, sorry, pappy used to say, anyway. Maybe a... Your pappy was Popeye, I don't know. All right, now we're gonna have. Ooh, hello, 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 hello. Can I drop this in there? I can. Marvelous. Ah, fishing. Ah, I do so love to fish in this game. Oh, we're not getting the perfect then, but oh well. Almost the perfect, it seems. You're going to taunt me with the fact that it would have been perfect, but for that one tiny thing. Okay, a sunfish. Not bad. Not bad at all. Womp. Now, always worth stopping when the fish are nibbling at the water like that. But we are going to go to a specific spot a little bit further away to fish once this little area is used up. Oh, that was pretty bad of me. Perfect is so much... is so worth trying to get because you get so much more experience for a perfect... Uh, for a perfect cast. Oh, okay. That is interesting. So since that wasn't a fish, we didn't get the fishing minigame. I think that was actually mentioned in the patch notes as well. And let's be honest, that is a pretty awesome change. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, we almost lost that then. Treasure, much like a perfect cast, get net to you some more experience. And right now, we really want to pull our fishing up if we can. Fishing is a pretty awesome early game um, method of, of generating cash and indeed generating any kind of uh, any kind of um, food. I mean, it depends on what you're going for. Right now, all of these these fish would be particularly good as food fish for us. Ooh, you're a bit of a bit of a, a spry one, aren't you? Uh, though you seem to have calmed down now, so... Oh, wow, a flounder. Now I have no idea what fish we're gonna want for the uh, for the uh, bundles, the community center, because they're all gonna be randomized. So there's a there's a part of me that's tempted to just keep hold of all of the fish. But honestly, I, I feel confident enough with fishing that no matter what happens, I'll probably be able to just grab the fish that I need. So it's not really a big concern. Well, that is definitely helping. The fact that we just yoink it out of the water the moment. Um, the moment we, we snag it, if it's not, uh, if it's not a fish. Ah, oh, really? That was almost perfect there. Damn Dratton Blast. New record. Okay, well, that's good. Tonk, right in the middle there. Now, after this, I'm going to go and try and sell these to Willy. Uh, well, actually, us getting up to Pierre's now is probably unlikely. 
So maybe not. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Why? Are you, oh, my fishing is terrible all of a sudden. My goodness. I do apologize. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can make it. Will you, would you like to buy some fish? There we go. All of the fish to you. I don't need the bait for quite some time. So thank you. Right, now buying that trout soup would be very useful early on. Uh, I mean, these can come with, and also you. Another lost book, wow, okay. <sighs> Odds of us getting up there are very slim now. A great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it, but if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. That is very good advice, though. That's a very good advice. Hi. See, you are a little little bit more worldwide. <laughs> Sorry, not <laughs> Elliot, I was looking at Vincent at the time. You're much more worldwise than Vincent. <laughs> My lord. Hopefully he didn't hear me get his name wrong just after I met him yesterday. Shh, it's fine. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make uh, make a difference in someone's life. Indeed it is, Penny. Indeed it is. Now, am I going to be able to get to PAs? Odds are incredibly, shockingly slim. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. Uh, okay. I would love to stay, Pam, but... 5 p.m. has rolled around and uh, dread damn and I am back to blast. So I'll work to run a shop. Uh, you'd make more money if you stayed open longer than, than you know, bang on 5 p.m., but uh, then, you know, you've got work-life balance, I guess, so you, know, you do you. Uh, hello, Jazz. Hello, Vincent. I am on a bit of a mission. Otherwise, I would stop the chat. Now, I don't know if the... Another lost book, wow. I don't know if we're likely to see much in the way of... Um, uh, the spring onions re re uh, populating or regrowing this quickly. Oh no, actually they have. All right, well, I'll grab some then. Oh wow, I, I, what a silly thing to have said apparently. They're all over the place. This is marvellous. So many. My goodness. All right. Do they do this every single day? Because that is a honking great amount of energy there. Always gobble down the uh, the silver or um, gold stars first. It is always, always worth it. Uh, no, we don't want to be there. We want to be up about here, I would say, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to say we want to be about here. Well, not a perfect cast, but... Okay, well, green algae, fair enough. Also not a perfect cast, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Really. Come on now. There we go. Now, there are certain places in the game where they used to be where you had a much better chance of getting high-quality fish. So silvers and golds and so on and so forth. Uh, and I believe that this is one of them. We'll see. I mean, up to now, we only... Oh, damn it. We only got uh, regular fish. We didn't get any kind of... Oh, no, there's a silver star chub. Okay, so this may be it. This little spot right here. I think it's similar from the, from the top. You can also reach it from just above this area if you uh, stop by, by Leia's cabin. But we'll see. If we end up with a, a, you know, a lot of quality fish, then that is almost certainly because this spot is a is a special spot. Not that you would be forgiven for doubting it, considering how long it took us to get a bite there, even the slightest nibble. Oh, <gasps> perfect, marvelous. There we go. Okay, well that's a regular bream. That's fine. Now, if I don't need to use the energy we've got, then I won't, but I will gobble down the seaweed and stuff like that. Uh, the daffodil we're keeping. <sighs> Bit of night fishing. Marvellous. And we finished off tonight's fishing with a geode. 
as well. Okay, that was definitely a good spot. We even managed to get an Iridium Bream. That is quite amazing. And look at the amount of energy that gives. That gives 33 energy. Considering my max is only 270 right now, that's actually a big deal. We may even keep that one as just energy rather than selling it. I'm not even sure how much we would get for selling it. That being said, though, I do fancy that you only like gain skills uh, if you sell things, or at least that's true of crops, I believe. So maybe we should we should uh, should sell that. But uh, for the time being, though, let's go ahead and drop off at least these. Uh, sure, we're gonna we're gonna save the iridium one. If nothing else, we could uh, we could perhaps hold on to that one for the uh, the luau at some point. Uh, we'll pop this over here. We'll drop off all of the things that we are going to be keeping that we're going to be keeping for now now tomorrow is going to be pretty much a day where we don't need to do any kind of uh of uh, watering so we don't need the watering can i can like oh well, actually the driftwood is a decent present for for the year so we'll, we'll hold on to that one i think that was a pretty pretty good day all things considered i think it's a time for bed and indeed it's time for us to wrap up today's episode, sadly, as well. We got level one fishing, plus one fishing rod proficiency. Marvellous. I'm very, very pleased with that. We made a decent bit of money. They are worth one each. That's 490 gold from that. That was actually pretty amazing. 112 gold for uh, the two breams and 124 for the, the two silver star chubs as well. That's like not bad at all. A decent amount of money to wrap up the episode as we head into day three of spring i really really do hope you've all enjoyed today's episode and return to stardew valley as much as i've enjoyed bringing it to you and i hope you're having a wonderful christmas but that is going to be it from me so until next time and as always do take care <laughs>